Hello everybody, in this video we are gonna prove that the limit of a real sequence is always unique. So let's get started. And please subscribe to make sure your maths teacher never gets mad at you. Let xn be a real sequence and since we want to prove that a real sequence possesses only one limit, so we start with a contradiction and suppose that xn has two different limits x dash and x double dash. Now x dash and x double dash are both limits of xn so they must follow the definition of limit right which is a sequence a n is said to have a limit a if for any epsilon greater than 0 there exist n naught belong to the set of natural numbers such that mod of a n minus a is less than epsilon for all n greater than or equal to n naught where epsilon changes with n. So applying this definition of limit on our first limit x dash we say for epsilon dash greater than 0 there exist n dash belongs to the set of natural numbers such that the mod of x n minus x dash is less than epsilon dash for all n greater than or equal to n dash. Here I change the notation because we have two limits for our sequence a n and we need two separate notations for both of them. So for limit x double dash for epsilon double dash greater than 0 there exist n double dash belongs to the set of natural numbers such that mod of x n minus x double dash is less than epsilon double dash for all n greater than or equal to n double dash. Now let n naught be the larger of the two n dash and n double dash which means if n dash is greater than n double dash n naught is equal to n dash otherwise n naught is equal to n double dash right. Next apply the triangular inequality for all n greater than or equal to n naught. To apply triangular inequality on x dash and x double dash we add and subtract x n from x dash minus x double dash and apply this inequality on it which states mod of a plus b is less than or equal to mod of a plus mod of b. So in our case a is equal to x dash minus x n and b is equal to x n minus x double dash. So this implies that mod of x dash minus x double dash is less than or equal to mod of x dash minus x n plus mod of x n minus x double dash. Since mod of x n minus x dash is less than epsilon dash and mod of x n minus x double dash is less than epsilon double dash. So this implies that mod of x dash minus x double dash is less than epsilon dash plus epsilon double dash right. Now we let epsilon dash plus epsilon double dash equals to epsilon just for our convenience and this implies that mod of x dash minus x double dash is less than epsilon. Now as we all know epsilon is an extremely small positive number slightly greater than zero. So the difference between x dash and x double dash is almost negligible. So we can say mathematically that x dash minus x double dash is actually zero which implies that x dash is equal to x double dash proving that both the limits of the sequence xn are actually the same or in other words a limit is always unique. So that's it for the video I will see you guys all in my next one. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. Take care.